Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So, it's day 10 of our Death Mode Let's Play, and it's actually a really big, important episode, and not because of anything we're actually doing, but it's an important day because today is the day we hit 100,000 subscribers here on Chippy Gaming, which is mental. It's absolutely mental. So if I post this at just the right time and you get to watch within the first hour, you're going to watch us hit that milestone or we may have just hit it. So it depends on how late I get this up. But yeah, let me say thank you to all of you. I really appreciate it. Let me get my early thank yous out of the way, essentially. Um, I'm going to have a video about it eventually. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the next day. Uh, but I have a cool little funny gag that I want to do to celebrate 100,000. You know, it's a huge milestone and there's nothing I could really do to repay you guys. So, I guess for now, we just have a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a celebration. So, if you've got a can or whatever, raise it up. What enemy is even attacking me here? For real, what is that sandstorm about? Because I need to heal up because of it. So what I'm up here doing is, I'm basically going to enter Zerg mode. And I'm going to farm out for these Essence of uh, essence of Cinder, I believe. Yeah, Essence of Cinder. Because I need them for a new set of armor. Which is going to... Oh, it's there. It's a Cloud Elemental. There you go. Alright, what are you doing, dude? Right, let's buff up. Because I need to kill this thing. I think, if I remember correctly, these drop the Cinder as well. Yeah, I get it. Instead of having a sand elemental, you have one of these. Oh, God. I'm, like, oh, so close to dying. Oh, God. Okay. Right. Like, for real, if one of these little uh, teleporter things actually spawn on me, I'm well dead. Come on. There we go. Right. Did you drop any cinder? Oh, you, you just teleported. Or is that a new one? I'm so confused. <laughs> I hope I don't have to keep dealing with these, because they're kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. And I'm, all I'm up here for is the cinder. Oh, it's because I activated Zerg. Ah, when I buffed up, I, I Zerged it. Right. I did actually want a Zerg, but did I Zerg and Zen? That's essentially where you use a Zen and a Zerg at the same time. If you didn't get the lingo. Right, what do you drop? Do you drop anything? Oh, God. Let me get out of here, man. I tell you what, they don't drop much. They drop money, obviously, which is kind of important. They don't drop much, but they are such a pain. I think maybe... Oh, God. Yeah, I think maybe I'm going to bail on that. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we have enough uh, cinder on our own. So let's put the cinder in there. So we've got this new set of armor. What's it called? What is it called? Perennial? Oh, my God. I can't even remember the name of the ore. Okay, ore. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, perennial. Okay. So, perennial bars. So, you make five bars out of 15. It's quite an expensive recipe. So, let's make... Uh, 55 will have to do. So, let's make this new ore. Perennial... Do I, am I not spelling it right? What's the bars called? Bar. What's the armor called? <laughs> Yeah, today's episode is a nice slow episode. I know you guys have been wanting me to slow down the pace a little bit. Today's that day. What's it called? Reva. Oh, it's called Reva armor? Oh, that's weird. Well, it's not weird. It makes sense, but for real, that's kind of strange. Reva. Why am I spelling Reva wrong? There we go. Reva. Okay, so this is basically the next step in our progress. Oh, look at me trying to close off that. There we go. Yeah, this is the next step in our progress of armors. So, <clears throat> chest plate, 19 defense, 6% increased damage, 4% increased critical strike chance, provides life regeneration, plus 15 max life. So, I'll take that, and I'll equip it, uh, and then we're going to make the, oh, I'm tempted to make mage because of this. So, I'm going to make mage, put that on, and then leggings, okay, awesome. So let's see here. Set bonus. Oh, well, I'll have to close that. Set bonus. 5% increased magical damage and critical strike chance. Your magic projectiles emit a burst of spore gas on enemy hit. Rage activates when you are damaged. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't mean that rage. Uh, and what else? That's it, I guess. And it's taken up to 570 lives. So the defense on that is 66. On this, it's 61. Now, if I went melee, I imagine it would be much higher, but then I wouldn't do as much damage, so it's kind of like finding that balance. So, one of the new things we can make today is actually the angel treads. 
So let's get working on that. Obsidian boots. I need to make obsidian boots. So that's made using these two. And then I might be able to make lava waders. Yep. Okay, awesome. And then if I put these into here, I should be able to make angel treads. Yeah, there we go. Angel treads. Great mobility on ice. Water and lava walking. Temporary immunity to lava. And as you can see, it needs a lot of stuff. So it needs more of that cinder. It needs a harpy ring, some aerolite bars. But we've got it all hard. All right, it's not too good, but it'll have to do. I'm actually running very, very low on, uh, on money right now. As you can see, I've only got one plat. But what I've been doing is I've actually been zerging it so that I can basically just get a bunch of money. Like, I think it gives you like 10 platinum if you just hold out on a whole zerg in the hallowed biome. And that's what I've been doing just to get more money. Right, so I just have to go look something up because I was getting so confused. So I'm going to like completely cut out what I was saying and just kind of cut to this. So I was looking at the Eye of Desolation. That's actually the spawning device for Calamus. And I was getting really confused by the blighted lenses because I was like, which enemy actually drops these? Well, I found a bunch of them out because they just spawn at night. So I've now got money and I've got blighted lenses. And I also looked up the recipe for this. It's called the Everglade spray so you, you need perennial bars and icor which you can buy from one of these guys so i'm going to craft that up that just gives us another weapon to actually use during the fight and this is it essentially and as you can see it leaves them with burning because it's icor so if you mix these two together let's try this out actually let's mix that with a bit of that pretty good i mean i actually haven't got any kind of a uh, combo pots on right now so what i'm going to do guys is i'm actually going to head to the jungle and I'm going to use some Spelunker, some Mining, and some Zen. And I'm going to try and get as much life fruit as possible. And I'm going to do this really quick so that the next time it's actually nighttime, I can fight Calamitous. So what I'm going to do in today's episode is I'm actually going to fight Calamitous only the once. So it's going to be my first attempt and nothing else. And I'll be honest with you guys, the reason for that is I'm actually recording really late. <laughs> so I need to make sure that I actually finish up everything that I've got to do. And that is one of the ways we're going to make that happen. Right, right, let's, let's get to the jungle. I also spent time building this sky bridge so that I now have a clear platform that runs through most of the world. This is going to be, like, absolutely essential for most bosses, and I think it's going to be really essential for Calamitous. All right, let's dive down. All right, Zen, Mining, Spelunker. Okay, and all we want is life fruit. So we're going to be as quick as possible about this. All right, I don't see any so far. The only problem with this is it, it grows after you defeat... Oh my god, a plantera bulb. Oh, that is so lucky. Oh my god. Usually a plantera bulb takes me absolutely ages to get. I need to remember where this is. So let's put down loads of torches. Oh my god, so lucky there. I literally always like spend forever actually looking for those. So yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, it's been a while since I actually... Uh, well, it's not been long enough, I don't think, since I beat the mechanical bosses for a lot of it to uh, to have spawned in. I'm going to see, though. Maybe I should just, like, cut through the world like this and just see what kind of pops up either side. Yeah, I'm going to do that right. I don't want to bore you guys. Oh, there you go. There's the first piece. Right, I don't want to bore you with this because it's going to take forever. So I'll meet you with the night time anyway, and we'll do a, a calamitous fight. But yeah, I'm just going to just dig around as much as possible, see how much I can get in one night. Because it's going to help us out a lot. Because obviously, as we now have max life, and then if we also get rage, if we get the heart attack buff, that actually scales depending on the life you've already got. So the more life you have, the more life gained, if that makes sense. So I think it's going to be quite essential. Alright, so it's now time for me to do Calamitous. I actually only ended up getting four life fruit, which is a little bit disappointing. But considering this is going to be my only attempt at the fight tonight, I actually want to do this perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be completely silent through the fight. I'll speed up little bits or whatever. I don't know how I'm going to cut it. Um, hopefully the fight isn't too long. But yeah, I'll do it silent. I'll put some awesome music on. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. <laughs>
All right, that's it. <laughs> Clamus doppelganger defeated. Man, that must have been a really long fight, considering that literally took me all the way up until the end of the night. Pretty fun fight, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not as hard as it was made out to be, I'm not gonna lie. And I think the thing that kind of let it down... I don't know, actually. I don't know what... Hmm. I guess it was a good fight. Like, I enjoyed the fight, I had fun, and it got my adrenaline going in real life. And there were moments where I thought I could have lost it, but then there was also a part of me that was like, no, you, you wouldn't have lost that. So, I don't know. That fight is uh, pretty interesting. Right, so we got the Crush Core Crasher. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Pretty sick. Uh, what else? We got this thing. Oh, I like that. Very nice. What's that called? The Brimstone Flame Blaster. Man, I was not expecting to beat this first time. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of, uh, yeah, took back by that one. Not going to lie. I think the thing is, it was just so easy to just run right. Do you know what I mean? All I was doing was kind of running right and then looping back. All right, what did I get? I got the Zealous Oblivion. Hell yeah. So I got the uh, the yo-yo. The Animosity. Pretty cool. Uh, what's this? An Armored Void of Calamity. 15% increase to all damage and Brimstone Fire rains down while Invincibility is active. And then it says Cursed. I can't remember why, but I feel like you can uncurse this. Is there a way to do that to uncurse? The Void of Extinction. No longer cursed. Yeah, this is it. I don't know what that drops from. Anyway, maybe you guys can let me know about that down below. And then Ashes of Calamity makes the Sigil of Calamitous. So very cool. Uh, Calamitous Brew. Very nice. Uh, and then you get the True Paladin's Hammer. So I guess this is what it's made for, really. So maybe that's something we can work on. But yeah, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. By the time this goes up, we will have just hit 100,000, maybe. So once again, let me just say thank you very much. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.